Kali Yoga, the age of darkness, the age of immorality, the age of quarrels, corruption, famine, disasters, and sufferings. The age, most people lose, their spiritual abilities, mental clarity, and understanding. An age, characterized by hypocrisy, degradation, and an overall rise in vice. Kali Yoga, is the last, and worst of the four great ages. The other three being, Satya Yoga, Treta Yoga, and Dwapa Yoga. It is a period of time, lasting 432,000 years, and according to the Hindu texts, we are now living in the Kali Yoga, that began around 5,000 years ago. It is an evil age, influenced by the demon Kali, and not the goddess Kali. Let me repeat that again, Kali Yoga, is an age, influenced, by the Hindu demon Kali, and not the Hindu goddess Kali. As the Srimad Bhagavatam reads, when Lord Krishna left this world, and returned to the spiritual sky, Kali entered this world, and people then, began to take pleasure, in sinful activities. Thus, religion, truthfulness, cleanliness, tolerance, mercy, duration of life, physical strength, and memory, will all diminish, day by day, because of the powerful influence, of the age of Kali. In Kali Yoga, wealth alone, will be considered, the sign, of a man's good birth, proper behavior, and fine qualities. And law and justice, will be applied, only on the basis, of one's power. Men and women, will live together, merely because, of superficial attraction, and success in business, will depend on deceit. Womanliness, and manliness, will be judged, according to one's expertise, in sex, and a man will be known, as a Brahmanar, just by his wearing a thread. In Kali Yuga, a person's spiritual position, will be ascertained, merely according, to external symbols, and on that same basis, people will change, from one spiritual order, to the next. A person's propriety, will be seriously questioned, if he does not earn, a good living. And one, who is very clever, at juggling words, will be considered, a learned scholar. A person, will be judged unholy, if he does not have money, and hypocrisy, will be accepted as a virtue. Marriage, will be arranged, simply by verbal agreement, and a person will think, he is fit to appear in public, if he has merely taken, a bath. A sacred place, will be taken to consist, of no more, than a reservoir of water, located at a distance, and beauty will be thought, to depend, on one's hairstyle. Filling the belly, will become the goal of life, and one who is audacious, will be accepted, as truthful. He who can maintain a family, will be regarded, as an expert man, and the principles of religion, will be observed, only for the sake of reputation. As the earth, thus becomes crowded, with a corrupt population, whoever, among any, of the social classes, shows himself, to be the strongest, will gain, political power. Losing their wives, and properties, to merciless rulers, who will behave no better, than ordinary thieves, the citizens, will flee to the mountains, and forests. Harassed by famine, and excessive taxes, people will resort, to eating leaves, roots, flesh, wild honey, fruits, flowers, and seeds. Struck by drought, they will become, completely ruined. The citizens, will suffer greatly from cold, wind, heat, rain, and snow. They will be further tormented, by quarrels, hunger, thirst, disease, and severe anxiety. The maximum duration of life, for human beings, in Kali Yuga, will become, 70 years. By the time, the age of Kali ends, the bodies of all creatures, will be greatly reduced. The rulers, 
will mostly be thieves. The occupations of men will be stealing, lying, and violence, and all the social classes will be reduced to their lowest levels. Cows will be like goats. Spiritual hermitages will be no different from mundane houses, and family ties will extend no further than the immediate bonds of marriage. Most plants and herbs will be tiny, and all trees will appear like dwarf trees. Clouds will be full of lightning, homes will be devoid of piety, and all human beings will have become like ashes. At that time, the Supreme Personality of Godhead will appear on the earth. Acting with the power of pure spiritual goodness, he will rescue eternal religion. Lord Kalki, the Lord of the Universe, will mount his swift horse, Devadatta, and, sword in hand, travel over the earth, exhibiting his eight mystic opulences and eight special qualities of Godhead. Displaying his unequaled effulgence, and riding with great speed, he will kill by the millions, those thieves, who have dared dress as kings. And all these kings, who tried to enjoy the earth, by their strength, would be reduced to nothing more, than historical accounts. After all the imposter kings, have been killed, the remaining citizens, will abundantly repopulate the earth, and their minds, will thereby become, transcendently pure. Then, the golden age, will begin, and human society, will bring forth progeny, in the mode, of goodness.